The landscapes in St. Lucia are spectacular, so you are in for a treat. Okay, now it's time to get our hands dirty. The world's only drive-in volcano. And if you can't get the color easily out and the mud is stuck in your ears, I have the perfect next destination for you. travel and geography related videos and today we are zooming in on the second saint country saint lucia saint lucia is one of only two countries that is named after a woman next to ireland let's zoom in saint lucia is an island country in the caribbean the country is part of the Lesser Antilles in the eastern part of the Caribbean. The Lesser Antilles is an island group where most islands are part of this long chain of volcanic islands. Other countries lying in the Lesser Antilles are St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago. Even more specific, and we're zooming in a little bit, St. Lucia is part of the Windward Islands together with Dominica, Martinique, an overseas region of France, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Grenada. And these are also St. Lucia's closest neighbors. There are only 32 kilometers between St. Lucia and Martinique, and it's only 42 kilometers to St. Vincent. St. Lucia consists of a main island, and there are several small islands off this main island, like the Maria Islands here in the southeast. The southernmost point lies right here on this peninsula, close to this viewpoint. The westernmost point lies here, close to this little settlement. The northernmost point lies on this rock, close to these luxurious lodges. And the easternmost point lies right here. Oh, and St. Lucia's shape is pretty close to the shape of Sri Lanka. St. Lucia is among the smallest countries in the world. It is the 178th biggest country, a little bigger than Andorra, but a little smaller than Singapore. With around 178,000 inhabitants, it comes at number 177 in population. Almost the same as Samoa and Guam, the territory of the United States. But this makes the population density pretty high actually. With 292 people per square kilometers and St. Lucia comes on number 29 in population density. So what is life like in St. Lucia? Well, that is a hard question to answer, but the data for life expectancy can give us a hint. In 1960, life expectancy was 56.7 years. In 2018, life expectancy has risen with almost 20 years to 76.1 years. That is a pretty big change. Well done. One famous person born in St. Lucia is Joseph Marcel. Maybe you know him from his role as a butler in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He was born in the capital city of the country, Castries, known for this beach, Vigi Beach, with palm trees all lined up here. Other towns in St. Lucia are Grosilei in the north and Vieux here in the south. The official language here is English, but another widely spoken language here is St. Lucian Creole French, also known as Patois. As I have already told you, St. Lucia is named after a woman and is the only country in the world that is named after a real historical woman, St. Lucia of Syracuse. It were the Spaniards exploring the Windward Islands in the 16th century who first called this after St. Lucia. Let's explore the capital city first. So Castries lies right here. And here I can get a feeling of that high population density. Looks like there are many houses here. But what do we have here in this city? We have a subway. We have the Constitution Park. Those houses look really colorful. I like it. Here is a Catholic cathedral. And here we have the harbor and the ports. Here is the ferry terminal if you're coming here in a cruise ship maybe. And here is an airport with the beach right next to it. So you can just land here and go straight to this beach, Fiji Beach. It's a big beach, it looks really beautiful with palm trees here. Nice. Yeah, and the capital city is surrounded by mountains here. So you can probably drive up, for instance, this hill or hike, if you like that, and then stand here and see the whole capital city. Yeah, I guess there is a really good view from up here. Oh, here are bakeries. I like bakeries. Here is another beach. 
Latok Beach. Oh, that looks really nice as well. Wow. Okay, let's see the rest of the islands. I want to take a closer look at View Forbes. Is there, yeah, another airport here? This also kind of looks like an airstrip. Maybe it's an old one. Here you can play paintball. Let's see what they have here. Independence Square. Ah, huh, looks like a nice place to meet some people. Here we have this peninsula. It looks like we have a viewpoint here. Scenic spots. Yeah, and from here you can actually see St. Vincent. That must be fun, standing on a mountaintop in this country and then seeing another country. What is this? Honeymoon Beach. Maybe this is a beach that people go to have their honeymoon. Wouldn't be surprised. St. Lucia is so beautiful. I've already had my honeymoon, but I'd be glad to bring my husband here too. To St. Lucia. Let's see. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Are there horses here? Yeah, so this area doesn't look too tropical. Kind of looks savanna-ish. But then when we travel further inland and we rise in elevation, there's probably also more precipitation up there. So the trees have more water to drink and then it becomes much greener, much dark greener. Yeah, definitely lots of mountaintops in this country. These almost look like fjords, but I don't think they are made by glaciers. So I don't think they are. Kind of looks like it though. Oh, but just imagine driving on, on this road here, and following the road, following the coasts, seeing small villages. Look at that, hopping out of the car whenever you want to and seeing all that coastline, that must be amazing. And then we get to this town, stop to buy an ice cream or go to this restaurant, the colors of the St. Lucian flag. Doesn't look like there is a road going here, but you can still come to the northern part of the island by another road. Here is Pigeon Island, looks like a rocky beach. Here we have Fort Rodney, a historic site with sweeping views, with old cannons. Apparently people have been fighting over this island many times, so I guess there are many historical places to visit here if you are into history. The landscapes in St. Lucia are spectacular, so you are in for a treat. Like most of the islands in the Lesser Antilles, St. Lucia has volcanic origin. Yes, volcanoes and lava can create islands. There is a mountain ridge going north to south, as you see here, and they're covered in woods. The island looks super green. Petit pitons and gross pitons are two pyramid-shaped rocks rising dramatically from the sea. And you can hike these mountains if you'd like to get spectacular and colorful views. Close to Petit Piton, there are sulfur springs. This is also a tourist attraction. This landscape section is starting to look a lot like the travel suggestion section. All the landscapes here are so beautiful. As you can see here, there are plenty of mountain tops here and there are many streams that follow the mountains through the valleys. This island is a paradise. Look at this. The tallest mountain of the country is Mount Jimmy, lying at an elevation of 959 meters or 3,145 feet and you can also hike up this mountain. It's opposite side time. A ruler in the capital city, Castries, move it for 20,000 kilometers around the globe and we can't land far from the place we landed last week, measured from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yes, again, we are close to the island Sumba, part of Indonesia, but a little closer actually is this tiny little island, Cunningham Island, which is just a little bit of sand reaching from above the sea, part of Australia. You've already seen some really cool parts of St. Lucia, like Petit and Gros Pitons, those steep mountains suddenly rising from the sea, and the tallest mountain, but St. Lucia has a lot more to offer. There is lots to do here, like horseback riding, zip lining, hiking, going to the beach, visiting small fishing villages. Here are the destinations that I found very interesting. First, we are traveling to the west coast, to the Ansa Chastanet beach. We're gonna start this vacation off slowly by relaxing. This is a beautiful and peaceful beach with mountains in the background. But the reason I chose this beach is because it is a great place to do some snorkeling. I went snorkeling once at Zanzibar, Tanzania, and it was amazing. I didn't know why I hadn't tried it before. It is so beautiful to see the biodiversity, different kinds of colorful fish and coral reef, 
Here there are 150 different species of fish. Would have been amazing to get a glimpse of just that. Okay, now it's time to get our hands dirty. I thought these sulfur springs looked pretty interesting, so we are driving only 17 minutes. See, that's the advantage of a small country, things are close to each other, to the Sulphur Springs. And this is nicknamed the world's only drive-in volcano. The Soufre volcano is considered a dormant volcano, and you can actually drive to the edge of the springs. There is not a typical volcanic crater or lava, but there are stinky pools of mud that is boiling, and here you can give yourself a mud bath. The locals say the mud baths make you look 10 years younger, so I guess if I went there I'd be 16 again. And remember to wear a dark bathing suit because it might be different to get the color out. And if you can't get the color easily out and the mud is stuck in your ears, I have the perfect next destination for you. We're gonna drive an hour to the other side of the island, to Latil Falls and Garden. This is where the rainforest begins. So this is filled with plants like fruit trees and colorful flowers and there is a waterfall so you can clean yourself up after the mud bath. Reviews I found say that this is a quiet and peaceful spot but keep in mind small fish that nibble on your feet. St. Lucia is the perfect spot if you like to be close to nature, be it hiking some really steep mountains or snorkeling in some quiet water. There is plenty to do here if you like an adventure. I didn't know much about St. Lucia before I started reading about it, but I can say I definitely want to travel there now and learn even more about it. These were some geographical facts on St. Lucia. Next time we're going to stay in the Lesser Antilles and see St. Kitts and Nevis. And we're zooming out. Thank you for watching, guys.